Hello friends, welcome back to All and On Law. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is a fungi blastomyces dermatitis. Dermatitis or dermatitis. This should be, I'm not good at the spelling. Okay, guys. So, in your seminal examination, usually you should re remember the endemic region from where the patient is coming from. So, if you remember the endemic region where this disease is common, then it helps you to diagnose it correctly. So, in your seminal, try to look for the location of the patient. Very important. So, let's talk about this. Blastomyces dermatitis or dermatitis, titidis, titidis. Okay, so it's a dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic, which are the other dimorphic fungi you can tell me? Sporotic shenke, yes, then coccidiodots, imitis, right? Yeah, excellent. Now let's move on to this. The dimorphic, it has two forms, which we draw over here. These are the hyphae with conidia. Hyphae with conidia. Okay, right. Blastomyces dermatitis, hyphae with conidia. This is the environmental form. Okay, so appears to be associated with what you call rotting wood, such as beaver dams. Rotting wood. Hmm. Now I'm going to talk very important, very important for US family examination. There's an endemic region you should know. There should be endemic regions. Okay. If the patient is from Upper Great Lakes, Upper Great Lakes, Ohio, Mississippi River Beds and Mississippi River Beds, Okay, river beds, southeastern seaboard of the U.S. and northern Minnesota. Okay, Minnesota into Canada. Okay, so these are the endemic region you should remember: the Upper Great Lakes, Ohio, Mississippi River beds. Okay, and then northern Minnesota into Canada. So these are the important locations for blastomyces dermatitis. Okay, guys. So as I said, there is other form of this what you call uh, blastomyces dermatitis is there. So and wh when you should think of the disease, this disease is if a normal patient presents with uh, a patient from this location, if he presents with uh, what you call uh, uh, pulmonary symptoms, then you should think of this disease. Okay, or in your family, if they give the patient is immunocompromised, like he's on chemotherapy, he's on he's HIV, or something that is it shows he's immunocompromised. Okay, then he presents the pulmonary functions. Then you should you can think of this disease, but you need to confirm with uh, what you call a uh, laboratory test that is a sputum culture, and the sputum of this shows a broad based budding yeast with double retri uh, what you call refractile cell walls. Let me draw over here. How do they look like? Oh my god, I died. I did it. So they are broad, broad based budding yeast, okay? And um, what do you call um, refractile cell walls, okay? So this is really very important. If you see this in sputum, then I think. Uh, you can diagnose it correctly. So try to look for these points in uh, uh, USML examination. Okay, um, right. So how would you treat that? And the treatment plan for this is what's the drug that we use for treat to treat this is amphotericin B. M B. Okay, amphotericin B. Remember. So this is a drug for this. Okay, guys. So blastomyces dermatitis has a dimorphic phase. Okay, environmental one and the other one is a budding yeast that is a tissue form. Okay, then um, what are the endemic regions? Mm, Upper Great Lake, Ohio, Mississippi River beds, Minnesota, 
okay canada right so try to remember these important points about this and how would you diagnose confirm the diagnosis sputum culture that shows the broad based budding yeast with the, not a sputum culture exemption sputum that shows the broad based budding yeast with a double refractile cell walls okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care and remember one point it doesn't have this capsule no capsule Okay, thank you.